you know, I was looking at Quilava in comparison to your main character, and just look how huge that thing is compared to- if it were to stand on two legs, it's gonna be taller than us. Which doesn't really make sense, because Queen Lava is, is, if you can see here, hold on, is only supposed to be 2 feet 11 inches, and I'm guessing that's in terms of overall height, not just when it's on his hind legs. So, yeah, what the hell. Anyway, how's it going guys? Welcome back to another episode of Pokemon Hot Goals Souls of a Walkthrough. Last episode we defeated Buxy and our rival Bambi. This episode was quite kind of hard to record because it kept, keeps crashing at irrelevant places or, you know, at random. Um, so, uh, by the way, off screen I bought a few repels from this Pokemon mod. I bought 10 of them. And I also bought 5 netballs from the Pokemon mod because they are going to be useful to catch my third Pokemon in the team. So without further ado, let's go to our next objective, which is Alex Forest. The first thing I want to do right away here at the Alex Forest, what I normally do is spray your pills. Um, no, I'm kidding. Um, go over the Pokemon that's available here. First Pokemon that's available here is Paris. Uh, Paris, we all know, is a very good HM slave. Learns almost almost every HM you give at it, unless it's Surf and Waterfall. But Paris is also the Paris like level 24. Uh, if you want to use it, uh, it has okay stats, you know, average. Pretty sure people who have played Pokemon frequently, you know, know how to use it. But it's just that its typing is not really advantages, advantageous to this game because there's a lot of bug and poison types. And also on top of that, you know, it doesn't have that powerful of a moveset either. I, I would say pass for Paris unless you're using it as an HM slave. The next Pokemon you can get here is Oddish. Oddish is a uh, grass and poison type Pokemon who evolves into Gloom at level 21. And from then on, if you give it a Leaf Stone, it evolves into Vileplume. And if you give it a Sunstone, it goes into Blossom. Vileplume is, has 100 base stat uh, in special attack and 90 in special defense. Blossom is the opposite where he has 100 in special defense and 90 in special attack. I do prefer Vileplume because 90 base special defense is not that bad anyway. And it does have proper good defense stats and offense stats too. And so I do like Vileplume better. But if you use Blossom, that's fine with me. But then again, remember Poison and Grass is not that advantageous. But you can give it TM and teach it a little bit more moves. So if you want to go ahead and use it, it's definitely a much better choice than Paris. So that's it for the new uh, Pokemon that's available here. Let's move to this guy with the glasses and he tells you that he's been missing Farfetch that his boss has given him which is just great because he had one job so in order to get this Farfetch you have to scare from behind and for the first one you want to approach what you want to do is you want to step on twigs and when you step on those twigs he he turns to that direction so for this one the first one's quite easy you just step on this twig ignore that one go around the back and peekaboo his ass you know what I'm saying yeah and then he says he there's a second one that he also lost, which is just great. So I suppose he had more than his hand he can handle. Repels effect wore off, which is just great. You might want to use a lot of repels because there's a lot of caterpies to be fought here. Kind of stupid. Down here there's I believe a revive. Yeah. You know how I know this? Because I've done this episode like four times because it keeps crashing on me. Alright, so first thing you want to do here is uh, oops, go this way and scare it. And when you're scared, it goes into that corner. After you do so, you want to go to the twigs behind him. And then ignore the one on top. Spray some more repels. And then go in from the back for the peekaboo. And after you're doing so, you are brought back to the screen here. And then his, uh, his trainer or whoever comes back and... He's the one who works that charcoal house that we sh saw in the last episode. He gives it to HM1 cut, which you can teach it to Paris. Here comes the, you, know, you could teach your starter, but I highly don't recommend it doing so because it's HM and it's very hard to get rid of. So, now what I'm going to do is look for a Paris. I'll see you guys in a little bit. How's it going, Kulava? No, look at me. Anyway, I'll see you guys in a little bit. So, we're back here at the Alex Forest after catching my... Paris here, which took me a while actually, I don't know why. But we can finally take the tiny mushroom. Also, the egg hatched into a Togepi. I forgot that I was not recording, so I didn't get to record the Togepi hatch. But Togepi is at level 1, evolves into Togetic, and evolves into to 
uh, told you kiss by using a stone, shiny stone I believe. I could be wrong, but I'll put the right information on the screen. It's a great Pokemon if you have the patience for it. It's level 1, so you got to work really hard. I'm not going to use it because I've used it before. Uh, but if you guys want to use it, it's a great asset to your team. Just, it needs a little bit of training, that's about it. And you can always look up on Bulbapedia where to get the stone that is used to evolve it. Uh, but for now, what I'm going to do is go over here and instead of going the northern route, I'm going to take a south turn and talk to this guy who seems to be uh, with a weird relationship with the trees, I tell you. I'm not going to judge. But he's going to teach your Pokemon Headbutt, which is a pretty powerful move for, you know, this early at the game. It has 70 base attack with 100% accuracy. And I'm going to get rid of Quick Attack. In this game, Hard Gold Soul Silver, it also lets you headbutt trees, which drops you certain kinds of Pokemons. Um, in the Alice Forest, it drops you Pinaco, which is a great bug-type defensive Pokemon. It evolves into Fortress, which is a bug and steel type. It can, bu it can really take a lot of physical hits. I mean, later in the game, there's a lot of Dragon types, and it really proves to be a wall later on. For now, I'm going to head back to... Uh, Azalea Town because I got a few businesses to take care of which you guys will see in a little bit. So we're back here at the Azalea Town and what I'm going to do will, is I'm going to headbutt the Pokemon tree right here and you will see what happens. It's pretty amazing how... ouch. That looks like it hurts Quilava. Like, headbutting a tree should hurt you. But Quilava is very happy. I don't know. Maybe our Quilava is just special. But you just headbutt trees and what happens is eventually a Pokemon will drop. So if the one tree doesn't work, you just try a different tree and a Pokemon drops. So in this case, it's a Spearow. So obviously, every time you get different results, you can get like Noctowls for level 6, I believe, in this area. I could be wrong, but you guys can check it out. So I'm going to keep doing this until I get the Pokemon I want. I'll see you guys then. There it is. It's Heracross. So Heracross is a bug and fighting type Pokemon. It's amazingly offensive it is ridiculous how this thing will just start sweeping up teams it's fully evolved already no need to worry about the stats it's going to destroy teams and this is the whole reason I got the netball because I don't want to waste like a bajillion pokeballs on it and this thing I tell you something else it's completely obliterates teams with his bug type and fighting type learns great moves from both teams you can give it TMs give it oh my it's ridiculous how great this thing is one of my favorites of all time I'm gonna throw a Pokemon I know it's level 4 I will train it don't worry guys but it's completely worth the training that you put into it this is actually my third or fourth time only using this game considering how many times I finished this game uh, but still it's a great asset to have on any team Flaffy has been there with me you know every game every time I start a new game I have used Flaffy almost uh, but Heracross it's definitely another great asset to the team I'm gonna name it all I'm gonna name all my Pokemon later because right now I don't I don't, I don't have any creative name I want a name that goes well throughout the team like you know how the Justice League works but uh, for now I'm just going to leave it well let's take a good look here at our Heracross it's Adam and Nature which is amazing all right, it's high special attack and I mean high attack and low special attack, which I don't care because it's not a special offensive Pokemon anyway. So for, I'm really happy with the Heracross I have. I think we are going to go far with this Pokemon. I'm going to go back and train my Heracross just a little bit more. I think I'm going to go back all the way to Violet City and train a little bit. I think I'm going to teach it Rock Tomb, which makes it even more amazing. So Heracross can learn Rock Tomb. I'm going to get rid of its uh, Leer, because you never end up using it. It also has Horn Attack, which does pretty uh, pretty good damage at this stage of the game. I'm going to give it Rock Tomb, which makes it a uh, very good uh, Pokemon right away. Can get rid of its, you know, Flying-type weakness. So, I'll see you guys in a little bit, once I'm done training this guy. So, we're finally done training Heracross and ready to kick some Bootay. Just to show how monstrous this thing is, it's Adam and Nature. It's level 13 now. Trained it up to level 13. Look at that attack. 44. You do realize it's greater than my Quilava's attack, and he's level 20. And it's it's, it's greater than Quilava's special attack, which is its highest stat. 41. And its highest stat is 44 at level 13. It's going to be monstrous. And its speed is not that far behind, and its special defense is not that bad either for a stage. I mean, it's just one less than special defense of Flaffy, which is level 20. So, 
As you can see, Heracross is going to be a monster. At level 7, it learns Fury Attack, and at level 13, it learns Aerial Ace. That's what I was training it for. And then later on, at, it learns. Uh, it, it's going to learn Brick Break pretty soon, which will make it a complete monster. So we are going to go and take care of Alice Force right away. There's not much to do here, so I'm going to move in right away. I mean, if I could, I would have taught Headbutt to Heracross instead, but you can't catch it without Headbutt, and later on you can get a TM for Headbutt anyway. I believe it's TM20 or so. Correct me if I'm wrong. And, uh, more repels. So the moment you go here is the Kimono Girl. Kimono Girl lost and all alone. Poor girl lost in the dark Alice Forest. What? You- Oh! Well, I suppose it's the same girl from Violet City. So. And then, our Pokemon points are where to get out. So, yeah. I don't know how our Pokemon knows how to get out from here, because it's the first time he's been here. Unless, well, we did find him in a tree, so he could have been lurking around. He, he was a wild Pokemon, after all. But, anyway. Let's move on this way, and we are on our way to exit. Let's talk to this girl talks about the shrine and how the shrine could have been home to a legendary grass Pokemon hint hint so here we are at route 34 so before anything else I want to go over the Pokemon that's available here at route 34 so one of the first Pokemon that you can get here at route 34 is drowsy drowsy evolves into hypno at level 26 hypno is one of those special defensive tanks with like mediocre stats and everything else is pretty slow pretty low special attack for a fully evolved Pokemon but its special defense is monstrous so if you're looking for a stalling type Pokemon Hypno is the one for you there's a very better much a very better much better <laughs> psychic type Pokemon that's available here and it's Abra Abra evolves into Kadabra at level 16 and it evolves into Alakazam via trade Alakazam has amazing special high attack and I'm special <laughs> amazingly high special attack and amazingly high speed it's one of the sweepers in the game even in online teams and Alakazam for me is a much better choice than Drowsy in game because it's very offensive and can take care of a lot of Pokemon just by itself learns a great deal of moves as well so Abra is definitely a good choice it could be hard to catch because it uses teleport all the freaking time but if you can it's the one for you the second Pokemon you can get I mean the third Pokemon you can get here is Ditto and Ditto just transforms yeah, that's all I got to say. Anyway, that's it for Pokemon uh, that's available here in Route 34. Let's move on. Let's try out our new Heracross. Now I'm just like asking for battle with these guys. Let's go, baby! Here we have Youngster Samuel with his Rattata, level 7. And let's just see. Let's, let me just show you how much Haunt Attack does to this thing. It knocks it out. And even a tackle from my Quilava won't knock it out properly. I, I don't know. But yeah, level 13, it's still a little lower leveled than the rest of my team, and still a lower, little lower leveled than the Pokemon that we're going to encounter soon. But I think its stats will back it up, so I didn't choose to. I, could, I was going to go to level 15, but I was just like, nah. So, teaching it Rock Tomb was really good, because its speed helps it, you know, outmaneuver these Spearows, so that I don't need to take a peck from these guys. And Its defenses are pretty... Its physical defense... No, is a little less than a special defense. Special defense is where it shines a little bit, but I don't really care. So we have a final Pokemon, and that's Shanshrew, level 10. I'm going to try out Horn Attack on it again. Shanshrew is a little defensive. I don't think it will knock it out in one hit, and hopefully this, this doesn't poison me. Um, it does have Swarm. It doesn't have Guts. I would have preferred Guts, because once you get poisoned, um, it doubles its attack, but um, it has Swarm, which raises its... Uh, special attack in a pinch. I'm getting a phone call by Professor Elm. Hey, Ramon, this is great news. Pokemon hatched from that egg. I knew that you could even... Okay, well, he wants to see it, but I'm not going to travel all the way back to show it to him, so he can screw off. Repel's effect wore off. I don't really care. Here we have a Pokefan, I think. Uh, yep, he's Pokefan Brendan with a little Pichu on his back, which I thought was always cute. Like, if I, if I was a father, I would do that to my daughter, too carry it as a Pichu. I don't know what I was thinking. Anyway, let's try an Aerial Ace and see how much it does. I just learned it. I've not really, really used it yet. And it doesn't do as much as Horn Attack does. Horn Attack probably going to do much more. Yeah, it does a little, little bit more. And it paralyzes. Oh, Lick didn't paralyze. Lick has a very high chance of paralyzing. And I'm really surprised it didn't paralyze me. 
And, ooh, just a little bit. Uh, Mareep, I'm going to switch out because I don't want to get paralyzed by static and I go into my Queen Lava and Ember it because it's annoying to have a paralyzed Pokemon because it reduces speed in half. I'm just going to Ember it. Uh, Queen Lava is monstrously high special attack stat. And it burns it too, so uh, I don't really need to attack it a second time, do I? Because it's going to burn. Oh, no, not yet. I'm just going to Ember it one last time. And that takes care of that Mareep. And we're done here with Pokemon Brendan. Let's go move on forward onto this guy. What does he have? I think he has a Mankey and a Diglett. Am I wrong? I know he has a Mankey, that's for sure. And my screen froze. That's great. Really annoys me when this happens. That was annoying. I had to go all the way back to like Route 34 Bio and start all the way and my Heracross got paralyzed by that Snubbles lick and I had to use the Paralyzed Heal. It was annoying to get back here. I know, it's not as bad. Thank God I didn't just start the whole episode over. That would have been like annoying because I would have to go back, catch Paris, catch Heracross. Oh my God, that would have been really frustrating. Anyway, I'm going to try ALS on it and see how much it does. It has a Mankey, like I said, but I'm not sure if it has a Diglett. I think it has a Diglett. It does knock it out though, It's great. And I'm level 14, hell yeah. Whew, it's getting really, really amazing here. And it has a Diglett. Yes, I was right. Another reason why I know this is because back in the day, I just, well, not back in the day, I used this guy to train my flying types uh, because I want to see, he gives you a phone number and, you know, later on he has pretty high level Pokemon. Yeah, give me your phone number. That's right. Ooh. Well, I'll give you my number. Alright, so here we go. Up here we have Lyra and her Marill. Who's Marill is still not evolved yet. Marill does about level 18. I guess I'm really over levels. And apparently the Zaker Man is his grandmother or grandfather. And I, oh my god, I thought the screen froze again. I was gonna be really, really like pissed off. Anyway, the grandma teases her by saying that we are her boyfriend. But no, that's not the case. And uh, she gives us her number. So we got a girl's number without even talking, even though we never talk. Uh, but uh, yeah, by we, we mean the main character. So here we can drop off two Pokemons and let them breed. And the number of steps, one step equals one HP, I mean one experience point. So you can run around and get, give yourself Pokemon levels, I suppose. Out here, he, this guy, this old guy gives you the freaking number two, which is kind of creepy, but I don't really mind because... He's Lyra's grandfather and also the daycare man. He'll let you know every time your Pokemon make eggs, which you can by breeding two of similar egg type Pokemons. But anyway, moving onwards, let's fight the security guard. We can't? We can't. I think we can only fight the security guard at night. As security guy, at night he'll always like, he'll have a Growlithe or something. Up here we have another lady trainer. I forgot what they're called. Picnicker? Yeah, Picnicker! No, Camper! Oh, Camper Todd, not Picnicker. I'm wrong, sorry. So I'm going to use a horn attack on this thing, on the Psyduck, and hopefully that gets rid of any... Aw, oh, damn it, it lives! How dare you live! It does do a good chunk of damage though, so it keeps the battle short. Ah, jeez. So, we're done with this trainer too, and he we give him our phone number too, even though it looks like a girl. Anyway, so we're here at Goldenrod City. And we're, this is one of my most hated cities ever because of the gym leader, and you'll probably, we all probably know why. But in the next episode, we shall be taking care of stuff of in the. Blah, blah, I can't talk. In the next episode, like I was saying, we're gonna take care of stuff in the Golden Ross City, and hopefully, the game won't freeze on us like it has been for the last few episodes. Oh well, thank you guys for sticking around. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Have a good day. And Heracross is a motherfucking beast. See you guys later.